This is in line with the principles of the African Union and the African Charter on Democratic Elections and Governance, which calls for the condemnation and the rejection of unconstitutional change of government and is in agreement with the AU's commitment to silencing the guns in Africa. Namibia supports the efforts expressed by the economic community of West, of West African states, ECOWAS, during their extraordinary summit that took place on the 28th of January 2022 under the chairmanship of His Excellency Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado, President of the Republic of Ghana, in demanding the immediate release of President Rochmark Christian Kabore and all the other political detainees. The African Union's Peace and Security Council has since suspended the West African country on condition that the military hands power back to the Burkina Bay people. Namibia welcomes the suspension, stressing that it remains resolute in its stance against the seizing of power through unconstitutional means. This is in line with the AU instruments, the AU Constitutive Act, the protocol relating to the establishment of the Peace and Security Council of the African Union and the African Charter on Democracy, Elections and Governments. Namibia calls upon the international community to extend all possible support to the people of Burkina Faso in their quest to find a democratic solution to the current situation and restore sustained peace and stability. Namibia is the latest country after South Africa to condemn the military takeover of power, despite the military moving ahead to declare coup leader Lieutenant Colonel Paul Damiba as interim president on Monday. Blanche Goreses in Vantuk.